Welcome back. So now we have a running system in the cloud. We have our REST API running on Azure and we have Firebase running our actual um, Angular project. So now we have two projects running in the cloud, but it's not working yet. So let's try to just open up our Angular project right here by clicking. By the way, if you haven't noticed yet, when you created the project, you can go into hosting right here. And under hosting, you can actually now see a different screen than the one we saw last lesson where we created the project. The screen is now a dashboard where you can see your actual solution right here. You can also get information about usage and stuff like that. So there's a lot of information you get from this screen right here. But this is our solution. And what I could do was just click the link right here to kind of open up the web page. And there we go. Now we have the web page available. Let me just zoom it a little bit. When I click products, nothing happens. It just goes to the loading screen. And after a while, I get an error back. So at least I know there's an error, right? Because of the error handling we did. But what is the error? Let's try and open the console right here and you'll notice this one you should know now. What is this? So it's of course course. And why is this a problem? Well, because we did not allow this page in our backend. We did not allow the page of Legos for Life. In this case, that URL is not allowed in our backend right here. So we have to fix that. And what we can do is actually we can go in here just to show you. Um, this is actually the real URL that we're going to use, firebaseapp.com. The other one is just like a, a domain a name we can use. So I'm going to kind of add this one in my solution. And then with that, we can get course open for the backend. So let's try and do it. I'm going to do a few things. First of all, let's open this up for the backend so that we can use course. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new course service right here for the new backend. So let's just do what we did earlier. We'll do services at course and we'll add a new one. We'll say options. And actually, we could just add the policy right here. Let's actually do that. Let's just add a second policy up here just to show you. I could say here, I could say options again. I could add policy, a second policy. This one, I want it to be called prod um, course like this to say this is going to be the production version for my course policy right here. So the new policy is just like before a fat arrow and then we're going to add this new policy. And again, I'm going to be I'm going to use the same information that we did last time. So it's going to be first the policy with origin right here. Uh, sorry, there we go. And then we have the origin. We'll put in the first uh, origin right here. Now notice the origin now for the production version is going to be Legos for Life. It's going to be the real running application in the cloud. So that's what I'm opening up for right here. And they will allow any header and any method like this. There we go. Now we have this available in the cloud. And that means now when we run this, we are able to, if we add this policy, to actually join from Legos for Life in production. So let's try and also add it. So you'll have to go further down and then inside our production version down here, we're going to add use course and this time for the prod version, right? So that's kind of how we set this up. And now we have this in uh, production and this in development. And it's very important you don't add both of them in production because then somebody from localhost could actually contact your backend in production. And that's not something I want. We'll just save this. And again, because of the way we've set up everything now, we can just do a git add all right here, git commit, and just say adding course like this. We can do git push and then automatically it's going to push this now to our GitHub repo and that's going to trigger in the cloud right here under our Legos for Life. It's going to actually in the development center under Azure, it's going to now trigger this new GitHub change and that's going to actually start a new build for us. So if we go to logs right here, you'll see a new build just started today. And here we can go and just check it out like last time. What's actually going to happen is it's going to just start building and deploying when it's actually done. We'll just let this run and I'll get back to you. So the deploy is done. Let's actually jump directly to the page right here and see if it even works. That's I think that's the first thing you would test before you even go to the Angular app. It loads the page and if I go into slash uh, API slash product, it should actually show that product in here now that is still an empty array, but at least it works. If we go back to our application right here, let's just use the one that we put in course. If I refresh the page now under products, I don't get the exception anymore, but I don't see that nothing. I see that nothing is loaded, but maybe I should say something like no products found or something. Let's fix that in the next lesson so we can get no products found. And also let's fix it so we can actually show some products on the page instead of having just blank data right here. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. Bye.